welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Savannah Park, Maryland, and we are beginning another deck project. This project is more of a rehab, a remodel, if, if you want to call it that, where we're, we're keeping some parts of the deck, uh, the structure, and we're going to make it look better with new deck boards, new decking across the whole thing, and new handrail. So once we're done, it's going to look like a brand new deck, but we're able to keep the structure with a few adjustments uh, that is here existing. And this is one way that you can uh, improve the look and the feel of your deck with new modern decking. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Joshua Hines, and this is Construction Junction. All right, so on, on this Savannah Park deck, uh, we have pretty decent deck. I mean, I, I definitely can say that the structure seems to be sound. Uh, whoever built the deck did a pretty good job. Uh, they did try to stretch a, li a little bit of the, the um, I guess, the framing, the joists. Uh, a little bit which caused a problem and you know you just want to be cautious of doing things like that uh, you, you want to do things to the book uh, specifications that code calls for because if you don't and you try to save a little little bit of money on material it's going to show up in the long run and I'll be able to show you uh, once we get up on the deck uh, some issues so you know we diagnose this deck a lot of it uh, you can look at the surface and tell that uh, it's worn a little bit, and they did use Trex. This is like, um, if you want to call it, the, the first kind of Trex that they had, uh, which was a solid. Now you can get groove and solid, but the composite material, uh, it held up over time, and it could be power washed, but the color does fade. So the stuff that they have now is much better. It's more of like a, a veneered. Uh, type of finish where it's gonna wear a whole lot better than the older stuff over time and I would say I'm just looking at the deck I don't know for sure but it looks like this deck is over 10 years old doesn't look a whole lot older than that because of how it was built you know they did use joist hangers uh, so it's not like a completely nailed up deck like you would see something that's like 20 or 30 years old uh, so it, it is a, a, a modern deck style uh, but 10 years old and this is uh some of the things that you can see uh over time like how these products actually work how they hold up um, so this is a good case study for us another thing uh, if you can look behind me you see all of these trees that's around now sometimes the symptoms uh, of problems that you may have with your deck could be because of the surrounding area one thing that we started to notice um, as soon as we started taking boards off is that the joists are extremely wet. Um, and that sort of gives me the idea that um, these trees that, that's around in the backyard is blocking sunlight. So uh, the deck boards are not able to dry out like they typically would dry out um, in like a normal situation where you could get sun. Now the shade is good. Uh, because you don't have that beaming sun on you the entire day. Like there's portions of the day that you will have shade on the deck, but it creates a whole other problem, which is the moisture. And moisture and wood don't mix. So it can create long-term issues. So I, I believe the homeowner here is gonna plan to remove a, a couple trees here just so it can get a little bit more sunlight so it doesn't continue to damage the, the new product uh, that we do put up. Now we're putting up Trex material and we're putting up white vinyl handrail, so that's not gonna get affected by the moisture, but your post that's in the ground that's holding the deck up and all the pressure treated wood joists can be affected long-term uh, by, by the moisture. So you wanna kinda control that. Uh, pressure treated lumber is made to be outside, so not that big of a problem, but you know, you don't wanna not think about that ahead of time, especially if you're gonna do a remodel uh, in the fashion that we're doing. Um, so let, let me show you a few things. So first we're gonna look at the handrail. It's obviously been painted uh, over time. 
And typically people do that once, uh, you know, if it wasn't main, maintained as far as the stain, uh, and then eventually they, they turn around and they start painting it to cover up wood that doesn't look so great any longer. Uh, but you can see some issues here, like you can see this wood is definitely has some uh, water damage over time. Uh, and so that's when people start painting it. So when, when you see a deck, if you're purchasing a home and you see a deck that is painted, uh, potentially it may have some issues. Now, very rarely, but it does happen where somebody particularly likes the color of, of the painted deck as opposed to the natural wood finish. And they will uh, not do like a semi-transparent uh, stain uh, and they will paint it right off uh, off from the beginning but that doesn't happen often you know a lot of times if you see it painted it's because they're covering up something along the way so keep that in mind uh, and just looking at the water remember this this deck was oversaturated you can look at all these pressure treated joists which is your structure all of them have heavy staining which you you would think it would uh, but I'm really looking at the dark areas. Now, we, we did have some sunlight today, and this wood should not be holding that much water. You can see some of them are dry and, and, and some of them are wet. So the area where, where they, they get sun, where the trees aren't, um, are a little drier, and you can tell, obviously tell, the areas that stay wet constantly because of the tree cover. So, um, you know, just how you put this back, you need to keep all that in mind. This is some of the other damage uh, that I, I can see uh, in the deck framing. Uh, you can just see that this is like overly wet. Uh, and I don't know, we need to check on if, if this is termite damage or if this is just damage from the wood being wet. And when, when it dries out, it's gonna be okay. And if so, you know, we will re replace this board if it does have some damage. But this is some of the other things that'll happen uh, over time if you have a lot of water getting to your deck. You can see, looks like some animal uh, essentially was just biting on this, but that's not what happened. This is just what happens over time to wood if, it, if it's too exposed to, to water. So what happens is uh, the water will, will get into the wood and then, you know, you'll come in and, and you'll lean on, on this. It'll get back and forth. It'll be pushing on each other and like little pieces of the the four by four will actually just, just come off uh, because it is bolted um, to the framing, to the joists uh, per se. But over time, that's what'll happen is. So that's why we need to change this handrail throughout. It's not every, every one of them, but you know, if you can see in here, see if we can get a better look at this. You know, the water bouncing off the decking, hitting that wood, has just deteriorated it over time. <clears throat> so, this is just some, some of the damage, and we are gonna do a new rim board, which is this right here, in our white PVC, so it's gonna look nice. And we're also gonna change the uh, lattice boards, so all of this lattice will change to white vinyl, so we don't have that issue of it breaking down in the future. So, you know, as we walk through this deck, you know, we're still at the exploratory phase of demoing the deck boards and seeing what we have underneath. And if we need to add something, oh, there, there was one more spot over here I wanted to make you aware of. And this happens sometimes, unfortunately. Uh, you, you can see the joist that we have here start off great right you know we're on 16 on center everything is 16 on center here as you go across and then once you get to this area this one gap looks like it's gotten bigger and then this one is about the same size as that one and then this is, is, is the biggest one so far and then we have uh, another big one here so what it is um, maybe the contractor that built this, you know, didn't order enough boards. So at some point, he decided to get off of 16 on center 
but it's super important to stay on 1607. And the reason is, is because if you don't, these uh, Trex deck boards are only made to span 16 inches. If you don't, you're gonna have a situation like this, where the deck board will split or break but when you step on it in the middle, then you have a super dangerous spot. Now, it didn't happen everywhere else, but it did ha happen here. So you see this, this deck board is down. Somebody stepped right in that one spot and it, it broke the tracks. So we will be adding four more uh, joists in this space just to be safe and make sure, you know, we're at a maximum of 16 inches. Anything bigger than that, you know, you're putting yourself at some risk uh, of, of breaking. And that's case in point right there, you can see it right there. So, you know, contractor probably thought it was it was gonna be okay, but things like that you just don't play around with because you know, th this is the safety of kids, people, um, who's gonna be on this deck. And this deck potentially can be loaded full of people because it is a nice size deck. So you have to build it um, with that idea in mind, you know? Uh, and, and you have to have your structure the, the way code says, or else you're gonna come into a problem. So, you know, case in point, you gotta follow the rules. You can see it there, 16, and then it gets bigger. And that's exactly where we have our issue. So, you know, just keep in mind, to, uh, this always comes back down to who you have doing your work as well. Uh, they have to, you know, live up to a certain standard. Uh, and if they don't, potentially you as the homeowner are gonna have a problem. And the problem is it's not gonna show up. Uh -oh, we got a neighbor's dog. But it's not gonna show up right away. It's gonna show up later. Uh, when that contract is long and gone. So, you know, you have to qualify people who are, who are doing work for you, especially when it has to do with structure.
Yeah, yeah, yeah.